Hello, welcome to this new video. This time, I'm going to show you how to get something like this. But first, I'm going to show you how to use the displacement, because this image was made with displacement only. After that, I'm going to show you how to make the texture map, like the one used for the render, which is really, really simple. So let's get started. I have a torus here to show you a quick example. One thing to have in mind is that you need to be sure that your object has unwrapped UVs, like these ones. If you have an object without the UVs, here's a quick way to get it. Press Tab to go to Edit Mode, A to select everything. Now press U and select Smart UV Project. Follow the steps and after that you will have some UVs. Now, let's go to View area and split. I'm going to use vertical split, but you could use horizontal if you want to. Inside this new view, I'm going to change the shader editor and add a new material. Now you need to be sure that you have the node wrangler on. So let's go to edit preferences add-ons and type WR node wrangler. And now we can continue. Go back to the shader editor, select the principle BFDS and press Ctrl Shift T to add a displacement texture. Once you add it in that way, the texture is going to be connected to the displacement because of the name. Next, let's go to the displacement node and change the scale to 0.1. Let's go to the render properties and change to cycles. Now change the feature set to experimental. Because you change to experimental, you will have a new drop down menu, call it subdivision. Click on it and change the viewport to 1. Close it. And now let's go to the modifier and add a subdivision modifier. And click adaptative. I'm going back to the shader editor and change it to war because I'm going to use an HDRI as a light source. Using the node wrangler again, I can select this background node and press Ctrl T to get an image node. I'm going to put an HDRI here and I'm going to use that one to light all the scene. Go back to object and let's render this one. As you can see, this looks okay but it's not gray. So the next step is to add more details using the mapping node. I'm going to change the scale by holding left click and drag down, then type 10. The last thing that we need to do is go to the material properties, scroll down all the way and click on settings. In here, we just need to change the displacement from bump only to displacement and bump. Now it looks great. And you can change the scale using the displacement node. Now you know how to use the displacement inside Blender. We now need to know how to make this texture, like the one used for this object. This is very easy. There is a free app called JS Placement. I'm going to put the link inside the description so you can download that one. Download the app. It's free for Windows, Mac, and Linux. When you open this app, you will have a screen like this one. Go to the left upper corner and click. And you will have different options to create a displacement map. Select one and then play with the options inside. And the texture will be rendered for you. You can also move the brightness, scaling, and save the texture using the save height button. One last thing that I will recommend you is to save the texture with the name height, so Blender can read the texture with the node wrangler. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you liked this tutorial. Click on the subscribe button and share the video. Bye.